Good morning. What's going on, Carl? Hey, how's it going? It's been a month, man. We're doing the cigar show thing again. So you got to yeah. just for everybody or hmm, you have a disclaimer for everybody, anybody or a disclaimer. Yes, I do. Cool. Carl and Ted do not encourage smoking for those under 21 years of age or with diminished capacity in some manner. Yeah, we want you healthy and want you to enjoy the hobby uh, as for a long see, time. Yeah, as you see fit, and uh, make sure that uh, you know this is not meant to be uh, deterrent or, or or bad for you. This is meant to enjoy and what this is to show you what we do. So, um, let's see. We've got Indian River Roasting Company as our sponsor, and uh, I think today I've got. I still have the espresso from this morning. <laughs> I'm still working on that. I had made a carafe of that. So, let's listen to them for a couple seconds here. Here at Ted Davies Artistry, we take coffee seriously. And so does our sponsor, Indian River Roasting Company. It's fair trade, organic, and they're artisans just like me. The only difference is I use watercolor and ink and they use coffee beans. And I enjoy it all through my day. So do yourself a favor, go to the description when you like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Find Indian River Roasting Company's website. Use the promo code CAFFEINATED2021 and save 10% on your purchase. Yeah, so check out that uh, promo code caffeinate ted 2021 and uh, save 10% on what you're buying from Indian River Roasting Company when you go to the description and go to their website that you'll find there. They are awesome. Uh, and then I also have another sponsor. Um, we're going to bring him on. Uh, usually it's with TED Talks, but I'll bring up John Cashman's uh, comics, if you don't mind, uh, Carl. Uh, he's a terrific Go guy. Ahead. Terrific guy. I know he enjoys a good cigar as well, uh, which we might have him on uh, too. And um, yeah, just a superb person. Uh, he's been there 25 years in Bay City uh, and he's the remaining comic book store there. He sells my uh, books and uh, he's terrific. And of course, uh, you know, he ships nationwide. He's a terrific guy. And, uh, you know, I've known John for quite a while and just everything, everything he does business wise has just been great. Always thinking about the collector, you know, and uh, whether it's a, a kid or it's a, a seasoned collector, he's just, he's a really just a good guy. And when you uh, go to the Bay City store, say hi to Petey, his dog, tell him uh, Ted and Carl sent, sent you if you're on the cigar show or Ted Talks sent you. And I'm sure that uh, they'll enjoy that. And they'll mark it down. So uh, we're also are part they, of it. I'm, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Are they supposed to tell the owner of that or the dog? Uh, either. Because you might get bit. Either one. <laughs> <laughs> Petey, Petey is such a docile, uh, beautiful oh, dog. He's just a great good. boxer. Uh, real protective <laughs> if uh, if not the right people come in. But he's he's a great dog. Um, okay. Rising Tide Broadcast Network. Uh, we are proud proudly affiliated with them, aren't we, Carl? Oh, yes. And, uh, you know, seven days a week, we have education and entertainment uh, for you guys to check out. Take a screenshot of this. Follow everybody on uh, their YouTube channels. Uh, later today, we have uh, Comic Book Spectrum. And uh, that is, a, I think, oh, yeah. besides what we're doing here right now, one of the best shows out. The Fab Four are just a great uh, asset to the comic uh, community, the indie comics especially. So check them out this evening. We also have Creative as Hale with Amy and John Hale. Uh, just a superb variety uh, show, interview show. And then we round out the evening with Stupid O'Clock with uh, those crazy guys. And uh, they are yeah. a blast. They're a blast to uh, all different kinds of topics with them, too. And it's, it's just a lot of fun. Uh, so check them out. And follow us on Facebook as well, Rising Tide Broadcast Network. Okay. So I think that we've got all the maintenance side of it done, right? So um, mm -hmm. we had a huge uh, following uh, with the with the women 
uh, smoking. Mm -hmm. So oh, yes. what we decided to do is bring in one of our favorite ladies, Donna, um, who smokes cigars more than I do. <laughs> <clears throat> and she enjoys it. And she's, uh, you know, she's, she's, um, I think it's great because you're kind of a, um, you, you make it so that it's, it's not an offensive thing to enjoy a good cigar. And that's, that's what I think. One of the, you got that, that uh, picture of you guys traveling. Handy or no? I do. <laughs> the baddest picture. Oh, wait, no, I Earth, do. The baddest picture go. on the internet, right there. The yeah. biggest, sweetest picture. So, yeah, in any case, that's us. Yeah. How you, how you doing, Donna? You've been good. I'm always good. Hmm. I don't always behave, but I'm always good. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, we've got what do we what do we have going today? We've got a lot of uh, different say, things. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, I was just saying hi to Joe Bachman there. Ah, okay, watching. Joe. Yeah. Um, and everybody else that's on Facebook too, while we're talking about it, I don't know, we're not getting the messages from them. So, you know, you guys just hang with us. I so will check the comments afterward and make sure we get back with you. Sorry about that. I don't know what's going on with that, but, uh, and, and yeah, right. Did you guys get any good deals this last month on uh, cigars? I've got a few, I, I got the Brasilia, um, Rocky Patel pack from, um, um, cigars international is just amazing. They're such good smokes. Such good smokes, CAO, uh, Brazilia. Oh, yeah. Ooh, so good. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Donna, Donna is the deal getter here. Yeah. Oh yes, my usual Gurkha. Yeah. This came. In, it almost looks like a uh, saddle bag. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, it's leather and everything. I mean, it's very wow, nice. Really? Let me bring that up. Hold on one second. I'll bring you up full screen. Go ahead. Show okay. me. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Wow, that's really nice. Almost like a camera case. Yeah, almost. Wow, that's awesome. Little magnetic yeah. holder. The uh, cigar is the G three mm -hmm. with a really nice uh, woody, woodish, wooden kind of paperish and silk on the bottom. Wow, nice. It's a thin cedar. Yeah, it's yeah. thin cedar. It's yeah, nice, nice smoke. Four bucks a stick. Which Not, is that's very expensive for yeah. Erica. That's a yeah. steal. I mean, it's still though. That's very good. Wow. That's oh, yeah. very good. She finds all the deals. That's great. She really well, that's, does. Yeah. That's good. Well, and nothing wrong with that. I, you know, no. I, no. I try to find the deals. I'm, I've just mainly been getting the samplers because it's just easier. And I don't feel bad if I don't smoke them for a week or two, you know, whatever, you know, I'm not. Yeah. I, oh, I, I think it's, uh, it's because I, I deal mostly exclusively with Cigars International. Yeah. Yeah. I always buy the Gurkhas. Mm -hmm. So I think they're, they're throwing more Gurkha uh, specials at me. Of it. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have you um have you been getting the the wine cards and stuff that come in the mail with the yeah pack? yeah what do, you, what do you got going there man oh these are four that were in a, a sampler that John Hale had uh, recommended to me oh good deal uh, and John Hale like, from Amy Hale yeah. and, and mm -hmm. John exactly oh yeah and, let's do those uh, again bring these, those up again these guys uh, there's a uh, a Monte Cristo and three Macanudos nice and there were five of each of those. Wow. So I, I might save you one, Ted. Uh, Thank you, man. Appreciate yeah. that. I'll send you one next time. All right. Uh, but yeah, uh, he, he found that deal. And I, I was talking to me at the book show about it. And I thought, yeah. oh, that sounds pretty good. All right. So, cool. so you picked one up. Sweet. Mm -hmm. I know I've got to get a few more. I got to talk to the banker and see what she says. But yeah. I've got a couple <laughs> things I've been, I've been looking at. I've been pondering. I'm like, well, maybe that might be in the near future for the uh, cigar show. Mm -hmm. um, you sent me something in the mail, bro. Well, you did. Yes, both of yes you. I did. Yeah. Speaking of which, uh, mm -hmm. give me one sec. Okay. Just give oh, me one there. second. Uh -oh. This is Let's live. So, all right. So since we're, since we're all authors, uh, when they sent me the cigar, uh, they also <laughs> sent me the two books that I purchased, which is, are their books. And they are Woodstock Dreams. Uh, very naughty. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Interesting <laughs> book. Uh, it's mm -hmm. been a, been an interesting read. Uh, and who watches? You can see that one. And yeah. these are both. Now, D Donna, you only wrote you you wrote this one, correct? Right. That's the third in my Beth and Hill yeah. series. Yes. Okay. So 
Now, can they, where can they find these two since we're on, since we're already talking about, where can everybody find these two books? Carl. They're on uh, Lulu, L U L U dot com. Okay. Uh, you are going to have to verify that you're over 21 years of age in order to get Woodstock Dreams. <laughs> okay. you, you uh, what can I say? You yeah, you bet your butt. Yeah. Uh, it, it's Woodstock, sex, yeah. drugs, and rock and roll. <laughs> right, right. And uh, I believe they're also on the Barnes and Noble site, or have they been there yet? They're there oh, yeah, yet. Okay. There. okay. All right. yeah. And of course, if you guys want to throw it in the link, go ahead or throw it in the private chat and I'll throw it up there. No problem. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll do it probably towards the end, but whatever, you know, yeah. Hey, this is real estate as far as I'm concerned. You guys, we need to promote <laughs> you guys. Um, and you know, everybody knows about my, uh, my grim 101 book. I just, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you can find it on Ted Davies artistry for pre-order. Um, Ted, Ted Davies artistry.com. So in any case, uh, okay. So what do you want to do guys? Well, we oh, sent, I've been waiting. Yeah, I have been we, too. So we sent this out. Okay, this so I'm gonna is, I'm gonna unwrap yeah. it so they can see it on camera. But okay, go ahead. yeah. Okay, good. Okay. Good. All right. So go ahead. You tell them. This is the signature Habano cigar. Okay. Okay. Does that mean I can unwrap mine now? Yeah. You can unwrap yours now. Note the aroma as you do. Okay. Mm. Wow. Wow. Mm. It smells it's pretty a good. Earthy, little earthy. Yeah. Little. Leathery. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Leathery, leathery, earthy. Okay. I'm writing these down. Yeah. It's almost, uh, I mean, it's like straw, maybe, maybe not. I oh. don't know. You get uh, almost like that. a, um, uh, writing. Yeah. Area. Exactly. Ex not like, not like poop or anything. Not like it's, yeah, newer, the but very saddle, earthy. Saddles yeah, it's, it's and like, like, horses yeah. and, yeah. Like a, That's a Good image. I yeah, like that. that's really good. That exactly is. That reminds me when we used to yeah. take care of uh, foster um, horses and stuff. That's what. Yeah, it's very okay. similar to that. The hay smell for me. Anyway, mm -hmm. that's really good. Okay, though. cool. Mm, yeah. The very story nice. behind these. Okay, I got okay. five of them. Yeah. Uh, on cigar.com, and they've been bugging me since I got them. How about a review? How about a review? And I thought, oh, great. Well, my first one was meh. And the second one was not that, but I thought, you know what? I want somebody else's opinion on this before mm -hmm. I go off, you know, yeah. half, half cocked. So I'm going to ask you to, and what better way than to smoke them online yeah. together here it's great. and compare our things. And then I'll write a review and post it up and sure. maybe mention the show. I don't know. Absolutely. Might, yeah. I might as well. Prime real but estate. They say that this, yeah, you can go ahead and do your cut if you want while yeah, I tell you, you. Yeah, you guys do. In fact, when I'm transferring over to the other camera, you guys do your whatever ex explanation while I'm setting up. It's oh, okay. take me a minute or two. Okay. I'm sorry, go ahead. Let me cut you oh, off. Oh, I was just going to read off of their their uh, site here. This is uh, supposedly a uh, true blue best crops of the long leaf. Okay, so it's long leaf. It's not. Yeah. Box, it's not uh, you know pieces. This right. is true cigar by AJ Fernandez. Oh, good, yeah. real good. Okay, so they've been around a long good. time. They've been mm -hmm. around a long, long time. So it looks yes. excellent. Good, good. It is a complex recipe of Nicaraguan and Peruvian long fillers hmm. with the Habano wrapper. Nice. Now, to me, that's a bit much to be putting in one cigar. So smoke them slowly. <laughs> well, and they. And the size of it too, this is probably about a 40 minute smoke. Oh yeah. You would think. Yeah. I don't At know. At least. I mean, uh, if, let's see. if we smoke them now, we'll probably get through the end of the show. Depending, I might just let it burn, you know, yeah. and that's the other mm -hmm. thing too. I, you know, it's up to you guys, but go ahead. It's a Robusto. It's five by 56 ring gauge. Okay. Five I, inches by 56. So I'm going to punch mine with okay. a puncher. Yep. Because I want to be a little different than Donna. She did a V cut on hers, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yes. Did my usual V. Okay. You got the and V. And what, okay. what is Ted cutting? I'm going to use a guillotine. So I've got okay. that new guillotine I just got from uh, oh, yes. 69 Bourbon. <laughs> oh, yeah. So great name. And uh, yeah, that one, it's a little I bit easier that. for me. My hands are getting, you know, I'm drawing so much and everything. This is, uh, it's a lot easier to cut evenly oh, with yeah. this than some of the other ones. So, but um, I'll do that real quick uh, while I'm here. And then actually, yeah. you know what? I've got everything set up in the room. So let me go do that. You guys can, uh, while we're, while we're on the show, you guys can look at my uh, 
bookshelves here for the mess that they are uh because i can't turn the screen off because it's a little bit more of a it, it'll cut the mic and everything so we have it's, it this is a trial that. and error thing this is the first time we're doing it so you just got to bear yeah. with me um okay so i'm going to add the other stream and uh i'll be back i'm going to mute this one I'll, okay i think i don't can i mute this let me mute the mic i think you did And uh, while Ted's getting ready, we were uh, preparing yesterday and we did various shots and all. And uh, I think Ted has determined that his front uh, area is better for lighting than the back area. I see some wind there with his little flag. Yeah, and it may rain up in his area, so he may not want to go outside exactly. <laughs> okay, but, uh, I'm here. Can you guys hear me? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Sounds so, good. Yeah, I've got a, a couple things. Yeah, I've got the it's it's hit or miss right now around the lake, so it's kind of just bear with me. I don't smoke in the house, so I've got everything set up by the window here. I'm being a good little trooper, so in any case, let me get. Uh, I hope she doesn't me. watch from work. Uh, she probably is. Probably driving crazy. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll, maybe I can move it out here. It looks like it's breaking up. The sun is so. So what I I usually do is I've got. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. But I've oh. just got just enough on that, yeah, just, just a little bit. And you can tell on the inside of that, um, right on there, there's a, there's a little bit of a what they call uh, the tip or the head of the cigar. And that is right where I put this. And then we just cut that top right off. Yeah, you just want a piece of that cap. Right. Just give me a second oh. here, guys, where we're sure. setting up. I see the legend of the traveling TARDIS is here, and Brian K. Morris. Welcome, hey, folks. Brian, how you doing? So what I usually do is I'll brush off whatever, make sure that the puppy doesn't get any of the tobacco, because mm -hmm. that's a little bit of a pain. So we'll do some vacuuming afterward, but <laughs> that's just part of the game. Always okay. clean up your mess. <laughs> yes, right. So and you guys have to read the comments, because I can't. So oh, no the problem. other, we'll other part of the house. Here. So, but yeah, you just have, I don't know if you, again, I don't know if you can see this or not. I, this is helping at all. It just take the, just the tip off of that. Now, some of mm -hmm. these, this one's got, this has got, um, it has a little bit of cracking, but that's because of maybe the way I cut it, but it'll be okay. And it's been in your humidor all mm -hmm. this time. Yeah. yeah these two oh, yeah. that we have, I've had in my humidor and a special spot just so we would not smoke them. And I've been protecting them for over a month now. To make sure that we would not uh, break into them early. I have a bit right. of a loose loose bit right here. Do you? Okay. Yeah. I will mention that. See, when I cut mine first to like Ted, I got a little bit of loose as well, which is odd for a long filler. Yeah. You know, That's now, what I thought too. You know, maybe the but cap that, wasn't done yeah, as it, well. It, you know. it can happen. It could be a little bit dry. I mean, there's a lot of things that can happen. I, I also, because we're on the lake and I'm lighting with the match, I'm in the house because I, I have to, pardon the pun, break wind. I have to break that wind because it's just it's just too much coming off the lake. Oh, yeah, so. for sure. You could never get anything lit out there. Right. So what I so usually do. Oh, yeah. okay. You're both using you, matches. Okay. Yeah. And then what I usually do is I'll, I'll paint this. And what I mean by paint that, I just burn it just a little bit to get it as an even burn as you can do just to start it out. That's how I do it. So let's try this. I'm going to see if this will work. I might have to light a couple of these. I'm not sure. So, Yeah, I wanted to show that I know how to toast the foot. Oh, you, you're so good. Gosh. You go ahead and do that while I try not to catch myself on fire. Okay. That'd now, nice. you know, I, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll read a comment here. From uh, Brian, uh, is Christine going to murder Ted when she sees this? Probably. <laughs> I am, it's kind. Of, it's it's been yeah. raining on and off. It's been kind of foggy, rainy. So I've been trying to. I'm doing what I can. I'm trying to support the fans. So if I go yeah. missing, if I go missing, guys, you know what happened. So if if, if she does, he wants her to live stream it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if it's called a live stream if she kills you. I don't know. That's. I don't know. That would be an awful lot of witnesses. Yeah, no, no. there'd be a. Hey, view. Eric. I'd have the most views out of everybody, though. Yeah. Huh. Hey, Eric Hawkins. How you doing today? So, okay. uh, you know, 
I will tell you right now, one thing I've noticed right off the bat is that this is much better than the first two because they've been sitting in the humidor and they've been humidifying. Right. The shipping process probably dried them out because, you know, shipping is not as fast as it usually is these days. Right. And uh, I'm glad I didn't rush to judgment because it's a lot better taste than it had the first two times. All I did was just, I just kissed the bottom of that. Just yeah. so it's got just enough, it makes it a little bit black. Sometimes I'll, it depends on the tobacco too, but I'll have it so it's a little bit gray. But it's just to build a line on there so that it'll, it'll burn evenly a little bit, at least for me. You guys mm -hmm. have the luxury of having the, I, I don't know, I still am a purist when it comes to cigar. I, you guys, you can take your butane lighters, you know, but and do your thing with them. But I don't know. I, I, I go back and forth. Mm -hmm. It depends on the size of the cigar, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because some of those bigger cigars... You can go through two or three matches trying to get them on. Being a typical Sagittarius, a uh, bit of a pyromaniac, it's better that I use the, the uh, butane lighter. Yeah. And not hurt myself. When I'm out and about or in the car, I like to use a match sometimes. Yeah. Um, when I'm here, there have been some mornings if I try to use a match in the morning, I almost instinctively reach to throw it in the garbage. And that's a very bad thing to do. You want to right. put that thing in your ashtray. So always be thinking, I'm working with fire here, folks. Mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Brian wants to know what the optimum amount of time must most good cigars should sit in a humidor for optimum flavor. That is well, a very good question. For this one, it seems to have been a month. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, some people will keep them for years in their own humidor and not smoke them. Right. And that's great if you have a thousand cigars, right. you know, right. uh, and you can do that sort of thing. Um, I trust that the manufacturer and the, the person that's going to sell it to me have kept it humidified and that I don't have to do a whole bunch of aging on the thing. I mean, some of these have aged for, you know, 10 years before you get them. And uh, those cost a lot of money, of course. Um, and you can make it, uh, make it, you know, maybe a little milder by keeping it forever. But I'm not into keeping them forever. And I don't have the humidor space. Now, maybe right. someday when I buy that $3,000 uh, uh humidifier. Uh, oh, it is pretty. It is pretty. It stands about six foot tall. And uh, someday, when I get my Social Security, I'll, I'll get that thing. But okay. for right now, you know. Okay. So what do you think at first taste? Um, I don't, I wouldn't, you said it was Robusto? Mm-hmm. I wouldn't call it Robusto. Oh, really? You I'd like the it, strong. I would call it more like well, like it says, Habano. Habano. Like, it's yeah. it's it's more of a medium. Okay. There's a okay. there's a lot of lot of pepper I'm getting off of the <laughs> the beginning of it. A lot of pepper. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I mean, it, uh, no, I did I drank uh, coffee, but I had a little bit of chocolate before we started the um, show. Okay. But yeah, I'm getting a lot of pepper. But but this one, I'm I'm feeling like it's like a robusto though. This one's mm -hmm. strong. This one's not. It's not as strong as the CAO Brazilias, but um, mm -hmm. it's got a. It's it's finishing off with a, a little bit of nutty flavor, grassy mm -hmm. grassy okay. flavor. Nutty. But yeah. it's um, it's not bad. But it is it it does settle like a robusto. Yeah, and like, the <clears throat> it's a little yeah. It feels like you're not hard to breathe. <laughs> it's not that, but it's just very. <laughs> You know, okay. it's heavy. It's heavy. It's heavy. Yeah. It, I noticed it that it's is. already, it's starting to, if you see this here, the sun's out now. I might move the camera out. Um, it's starting to crack right here. If you see that. Oh, the, okay. So just so you guys uh -huh. know, it happens. It's just part of the game. I mean, it could be a way that they cut it. It could be just the leaf. And, you know, they use um, all kinds of, uh, uh, what do they call that? The glycerin uh, glue mm. or whatever. It's not glue, but it's, it's a, it's a, it's a food grade. It's, uh, it's based on honey. I, I think it's, it's based a, in honey. 
Yes, that's right. And so do, sometimes do. that gets dried yeah. out and you can't. Mm-hmm. So don't don't write the cigar off if it does that. I mean, I don't. Well, it, I don't. Especially if it's like a, a cap mm-hmm. is what I'm getting here. They've done the cigar and then they've done a little cap wrapping. Yeah. yeah. And that does seem to be coming loose. Uh, Brian wants to know, is it possible to keep a cigar in a humidor too long? Yes. Aside from the natural aging of the tobacco. Yes. Especially yeah. if you're not watching it, your humidity in your right. humidor. Mm-hmm. And you've got, you know, I've seen cigars just get completely devastated. Uh, mm-hmm. and, and that's been in the, in a public, yeah. in a, in the public, in the public, uh, humidor. Yeah. Um, I've seen them just be coated with mildew, you know, and I'm yeah. like, no, nah, they can't I'm, get I'm too wet. Yeah, yeah. And you don't buy anything from those type of humidors at all. Cause they're all mm-hmm. contaminated at that point. And you yeah. know, I, I'm a big proponent of having them in plastic though. Anyway, ever since COVID, you know, sure. from, yeah. the, from the get, yeah. we've been talking about that. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to move the camera out. I'm going to mute this for a second. Okay. And I'm going to move okay. the camera out cause it's getting nice out. So give me okay. a second. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Legend we'll of the traveling yeah. TARDIS wants to know, what do you do to your cigars to improve taste outside of normal practices? Oh, um, okay. Some people will dip them. They'll dip the end that they're going to smoke in uh, whiskey or rum. I don't know. Uh, I mean, that can help a little bit if you if you have a cigar that you kind of like, but you're not sure you like the taste of the end of it. Maybe you can do that. I'm not a big proponent of it because you can get it too wet. You have to dip very quickly. What do you think, Donna? I was going to say mostly probably what you would drink with it, whether you're drinking Uh coffee or whiskey, Mm. brandy, that sort of thing. Bourbon. Oh, yeah. Bourbon. I got to give a shout out to uh, Alex Powers, one of my son's good friends. Uh, He bought me uh, Detroit bourbon uh, for Mm -hmm. my birthday. And it's a brand new company that uh, it's only been out a few years. Man, mm. that bourbon is so smooth. Um, he, there was only 1,200 bottles made, and he, get, he got number 37 for me. Fantastic. Ooh, nice. It's such Very a good nice. Uh, Eric wants to know, would you suggest separate humidors <laughs> if you have, say, other smoking products in your humidor? Amen. Uh, yes. Especially, uh, Eric, I tend to like flavored cigars. I don't want my coffee f- flavored cigars in with my regular cigars. Uh, I don't want my, if I have a bourbon infused cigar or something, I want that to stay separate <laughs> because it's going to leach out. It's going to mm. share it with all those other, and you have an inferior product. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you do like the taste of, like, say, a cinnamon cigar and you want everything else to taste like cinnamon, Feel free to do so. But, yeah, it's not what the manufacturer intended, and you don't want to rush to judgment on those cigars then because, you you know, you you have changed the pro- in the process. Now, sometimes right. they'll do an in, what they call an infusion, which they purposely put racks of cinnamon and the cigar leaf in there to, you know, get that flavor. And you're right. accidentally doing it in your human oil. I'm getting a little Ted, bit. Have you got some uneven some burn in it. You see there? Now, see that yeah. is that's from that's from me. That's not from the. Now that's what's nice about having um, not matches and having what you guys have with the butane because it's oh, okay. That's yeah. that's from me, so I can straighten yeah. that out. But I'm gonna let it ride for a little bit. But I'm already seeing mm-hmm. cracking on that. You see the edge crack there? I don't know mm-hmm. if you can see it or not, but yeah, but that's yeah. you know. But like I said, that's so that. But the ash is good though. Look at that ash. I mean, it's it's mm-hmm. coming together yeah. nicely. So if that was burning yeah. evenly, that's a good ash. So you'll mm-hmm. see. I'm gonna see. I'll that probably is. bring it up to about there, and then we'll see where we're at. It's not a bad smoke though. Um, it's it's, it's, a, it's a, a nice sa- smoke for a, something different. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we and of, um, we, got, we got we got neighbors driving by. So oh I'm yeah, the, that's the cool. That's cool. Uh, it's live. The psychotic, the psychotic <laughs> artist out here. So anyway. No, that's that's cool. It's live, and you got oh, we lost Ted. Uh, we had I heard a bird singing a while ago. It just helps add to it. I don't know if anybody <laughs> else has uh, really tried this group thing, uh, group smoking on the air and, and chatting at the same time here. Uh, 
Okay, Christian asks, have any of you made your own cigars? No. No. Uh, I did buy a kit where you could like carve or sand your own pipe. And I, I actually, I didn't carve them, but I sanded my own pipes and stained them. And you, then you have to put wax on the outside. And it was a lot of work, but I, I, I still have a few of those pipes. They were, they were kind of neat. Um, but the wax sometimes would get a little icky on the outside, you put too much. And one of them I had to throw away. I was just, I just did. So c- cigars are so much more. Hey, Ted, we lost you. <coughs> he can't hear you. Didn't have his earbuds in. Oh, that's okay. Um, uh, but uh, I, don't, I don't know. Being as cheap as I am, I don't know that it would pay me financially to get the tobacco and you, you know how sometimes homemade stuff is actually more expensive yeah and not as well done as something that you can buy hmm. um i'm having a little problem with technical so just give me a few minutes you guys no talk, talk no amongst yourselves i'll be right back <laughs> okay we'll keep her going all right thanks uh vine wants to know if you flavor want to flavor your cigar with alcohol or coffee do you just dip the tick and let it dry or soak it for a while? Don't ever soak it for a while. Uh, I would just dip the tip and let it dry. Or uh, as some people, actually I've seen people dip it in bourbon and stick it right in their mouth while they're smoking it. And uh, okay. yeah, I mean, it's it's whatever floats your boat, so to speak. Uh, I would go with the professionals and just buy the... Rum infused, the whiskey infused. Yeah, let cigars. them do. Let them do all the work. But yeah. yes, and if you soak it, it's it's going to mold before it dries. Yeah, yeah. I've even bought from a, 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 a brick and mortar store that actually over humidified the cigars, and they were almost soppy when I got them. I had to mm. dry them out for weeks before I could actually smoke them. So I was like, I'm not trusting that this thing's not going to mildew somewhere, you know. And I would worry the same thing about dipping it in rum or something or coffee because um, you don't know what maybe, you know, landed in your coffee before you dipped it and you're, you're introducing possible contagion in there, you know. So I would, I would not do it for long. Eric, I'm in Danville. Maybe we could get together and work something out, do an exchange. Uh, <laughs> I have some fine Gurkha cigars. Just saying. I'll stick with the cigars myself. But it's up to you. You, know, you guys can hear me okay? Oh, yeah. 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 Sounds good. <laughs> we're, we're talking about dipping versus soaking. And uh, I'm, I'm for if you're going to do it, dip it. Um, in, in the purest, you know, I mean, alcohol would be better to do it with than coffee, I think. Just because the coffee, after you poured it in there, you know, you've got cat hair in there or something. Dog hair, whatever. Yeah. That's just a <laughs> condiment, you know. Yeah, yeah. Now, I put a little bourbon in the coffee, and it actually did improve the smoke slightly, but that may be me. <laughs> but this is turning out. Now, the one that Ted has, that whoops, that is kind of breaking up a little bit and uh, was kind of harsh on him to begin with, that was my first experience with this cigar. This experience is much better. I don't feel that it's burning my throat, which I did on the first one. Mm. So even within these five, there was a difference. I mean, maybe we got two bad ones, and Ted and I got the two bad ones. <laughs> Sorry, Ted. But maybe Ted and I got the two bad ones, and, and Donna and I here got the, the better ones. Two ones? Yeah. That'll happen, too. And, but, you know, if it was a $2 cigar, you'd say, uh, you know, but they usually sell these for six fifty a piece. These ones that we have that we're smoking. Yes. Okay. Yeah, where are these from again? What these are from Cigar.com. No good. company. Oh, AJ Fernandez. Yep, uh, they're good. Uh, they're real good. I'm gonna let that mm-hmm. sit out there. I don't know what's going on with my the internet when I crossed over. It's uh, when it's on stream like this, I have to come back in and just let it roll. It's a good smoke though. Um, 
I, yeah. it's finishing off a little sour, which isn't bad. Okay. Little, not bitter, but just a yeah. different type of flavor. It's actually pretty good. I, I'm not, I'm enjoying it. Cool. Um, yeah, not bad at all. I think that, uh, yeah, everything's, don't worry, Christine, everything's outside. So, <laughs> but, you know, I put everything outside by the door. So, uh, yeah. Eric, I deal exclusively with cigarsinternational.com. Yeah. Uh, like I was saying earlier, I don't think you were in here. I order nothing but Gurkhas. And so I've been getting some excellent, excellent uh, buys on Gurkhas. I just got some G3s for like four bucks a stick in a beautiful leather box that looks like a, a, a saddlebag sort of it thing. It does. It's beautiful. We're, we're beautiful. putting a, a handle or strap on that thing. We're going to use that afterwards, I think. <laughs> well, it's lined, too. It's lined with cedar, so you've got, oh, you know, yeah. you yeah. Throw, that's a carry-all, you know, keep the moss out. Yeah. <clears throat> I've got um, I've got one that I deal with, and I don't know if Ted wants to go full Yeah, I'll bring that up. Not. Sure. sure. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Whereas she likes Cigars International. I go with cigar.com and, and it's, it's singular cigar.com. Don't type in cigars.com. It takes you to a different website altogether. And that, I don't know what they do, but uh, I'm part of their club. Now, any of these will probably have a club or something you can join. And if it's free, join it because you know, if you're going to, if you're going to order, okay. And if you're going to be ordering more than just once, you might as well join the club if it's free. And, uh, you know, this goes up if you if you purchase more than two hundred fifty dollars a year, you go to silver. If you purchase over five hundred dollars a year from that same company, you go to gold. And then there's me who purchased oh sorry dear uh, over a thousand dollars from this one company in one year, and so I got to platinum. And you'll see along the way you get rewards. So uh, at the I'm pointing the wrong way here at the uh, silver. I got ten dollars off, and at the gold, I got another another twenty five off, and when I got to platinum, I got fifty dollars off an order. So altogether, I've got eighty five dollars back on my next purchases, and I get three days or less on any order, uh, no matter how small the order is. So I could order one cigar, and they'll send it out free, uh, free shipping, in three days or less. So, you know, they're trying to treat me special. And uh, uh, you can't read it because my name is over there. But I also now have a personal account manager. I haven't met that person yet or, or talked to him yet. That's great. But uh, supposedly I have a personal account manager. Woo! That's, that, that's cool. I think, um, I think I'm going to make uh, – why don't we do this too? I'm going to let that sit and see how long it takes to go out in the next, say, 10 minutes. And then okay. it, we'll see how long, because that, that tells you about the how well it's rolled mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So yes. the ash on there, that, uh, I don't know, where's the ash where you got? Okay, that's a, oh, yeah, yeah, that's mine's excellent. Been, mine's Donna's, about an inch that's long. The, that's, she's, <laughs> don't, she's don't good. take this the wrong way, Donna, but that's a nice piece of ash. Thank um, you. How about you, Carl? Let me see yours. I keep knocking mine off. Oh, man. Because I like this shirt. And I, <laughs> the shirt... <laughs> <clears throat> the well, shirt I, mean, I had on yesterday has a little hole in it now. Thank you. So I'm like, oh, great. That's all good. <sighs> well, and that's the the temperature range on that. I mean, keeping the ash on there though, that the sweet spot that that line, that's you know, keeping that temperature even. For me, because sometimes it burns. You know, if you if you because I'm if you draw too much on the cigar, it'll end up mm -hmm. burning your throat, and that mm -hmm. gets too hot, and it ruins the cigar. Mm -hmm. uh, that's keeping the ash on there really for me, it helps. It keeps it cool enough to where it's still enjoyable, you know, but I like to, I want to watch to see how long since I'm having issues anyway, let's make lemonade out of it yeah. and see if, see how yeah. long it, it stays lit. Look at the this. God. Hold on a sec. I'm bringing up Donna. Jesus. Yeah. Look I at know. That. She's, she's good. Holy cow, man. That's excellent. And that she shows will. you how well that's rolled. That, that oh, yeah. I mean, that's, that's a prime example right there. So anybody that's checking, um, it's checking still out to a buy nice it. Yeah. Even burn all around. How's the flavors on that, Donna? What's the? It's staying pretty consistent, which is is nice. It's it's mm -hmm. not changing any. Uh, it's not a heavy I, robusto. It's not a real heavy smoke. It's, no, it's, it's it, a little it's earthy, but not like, you know, 
It's not like the Brazilians. But are, yeah, it, it's. I'm I'm feeling feeling this this what I call the study mm -hmm. experience. That's the sitting in your leather chairs. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes, you know, maybe you've got your your mm -hmm. thing of rum there. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, yeah, <clears throat> yep, yeah. yeah, absolutely. I I could sit down with this with a good book, or even when I'm writing, I could sit down with this, and it's not just too. There's a little bit of smoke off it. It's not too much. That's a big part of it too. A lot of the some of them get too smoky, and you just can't. It's oh, no, that's what I like about some of them. Yeah, I don't. You know what I don't like is when you get the smoke and then you inhale and you burn your nose. You know, you yeah. get that. You start sneezing, and you know, that gets to be old. Um, yeah, the, and see, that was my second experience with the cigar. Yeah, yeah. Of the five, you know, I smoked one. I was like, yeah, that's okay. The second one went just like your cigar. It tore. Yeah. yeah. It was. It was unevenly burning. It was uh, smoky to the point of. Oh my God! Do I, I had to quit this cigar and mm. put it down and just mm -hmm. uh, walk away? Uh, that's why I thought I need some more opinions. So I'm glad you two volunteered. <laughs> that's good, <laughs> uh, Ryan. I appreciate you sending them to me. Um, the, uh, you know, the the biggest thing about this this experience um, is now I'm thinking architecturally what I'm going to have to do to to make this work now. So now I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to have to. Okay, I got that. I got that. I got, I have to figure this out because now I'm enjoying this more. I'm enjoying mm -hmm. this. Um, like this sitting and smoking. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, yeah. you know, it's you, you, one thing Carl's taught me is taking time to, to sit down and do this and then figure out, you know, you can take that 45 minutes to an hour. And that's what it's about. I mean, I think that that ultimately that's, and Donna, you have too, for that matter, because you, you've kind of, you've shown me that whether we're sitting down and we're all talking in that, uh, not just here, but in other, you know, green room or whatever, mm -hmm. you're able to enjoy it without um, rushing. Um, yeah. And it's, you know, it, like I said, it's not this, I, I jokingly say, you know, we should get some type of app that puts a bunch of cloudy smoke around our cameras all the time. <laughs> that would be funnier than hell, but I don't think it's, you know. Um, oh, the the well, fun just, thing to see is, us through the yeah, smoke, right. <laughs> just yeah. barely, you know. Yeah, yeah right. That happens uh, sometimes here. <laughs> sure, sure. The fun thing is, playing world of warcraft mm. while i'm smoking because sometimes it's like i got a stogie in the side of my mouth while i'm killing <laughs> things she's yeah. badass she, she is. really is brian yeah. wants to know where do you find badass. your fave cigars locally oh good question and naturally um we go to benny's a lot what uh, what is that place benny's benny's b-i-n-n-y apostrophe s it's it's uh yeah it's, it's a chain. chain. Yeah. Got yeah. It. <clears throat> Sorry, yeah. Brian. I've been uh, running around here. I'm trying to do everything. Spear with uh, me. I would say Benny's is mostly a liquor yeah. store, right? But they do have a fine humidor, a big one. Beautiful yeah. humidor. Oh. Uh, yeah. I, I like, um, oh, what's that one? Uh, coffee flavored. Espresso. Or what? Uh, I was trying to think of the name of the the uh, the Jura State. Oh, Java. Mm. Yeah, uh, yeah, they're yeah, Java they cigars, those. Those yummy. and those are box pressed too, right? Yeah, yeah. some of them, and mm -hmm. I am. I can rarely find them for under eight bucks a stick, yeah, and I'm not like buying a high. box. I'm not buying a box for that. But when we go into Benny's, I'll splurge and get one or two mm -hmm. for that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. There's also this really cute little cigar place over in Rantoul, Illinois. Mm -hmm. I found uh, Gerga Ghost in there. Oh, yeah. Great Gerger, smoke. Yeah. That's a great Widowmaker smoke. in there, yep. which is another one that's never on sale, never on special. Yeah. Yep. You would think that they would, is, is supply and demand too. I mean, you would think that the companies, I'm sure they do. I mean, yeah. there, there's a lot of things too that, you know, and I don't know how their business models run, but. Uh, there's a lot of shows. There's a lot of um, different cigar shows that you go in and you buy, and hopefully they're coming back now as, as we get healthier. Um, the, uh, you, you can go in, you'll buy it. You, you'll get, you, you, I don't know how they do it, but they take it in. Then they, they go in and have 20 different selections that they give you a bag and you mm -hmm. go around and pick out. So oh, yeah. and that could be too. I mean, it's all, it's really comes down to marketing. I mean, it doesn't, by the time they ship it here and they've got all their expenses for delivery mm -hmm. and then yeah. all the costs for the customs and all that stuff, I can understand why they cost so much, even though they don't cost much mm -hmm. to produce where they're at. 
you know, it's a long, mm -hmm. it's a, it's a hugely oh, yeah. extensive process, fermenting and it goes on and on and they're handmade. You know, uh, good morning, yeah. Willow. How yeah. you doing? Yep. Hey, Willow. I was tipping, tipping my hat to Willow. Yep. yep. And I've also um, found out when I, uh, when I reviewed my Tarano mm. for mm -hmm. the, that some are only available in brick and mortar, like my Tarano yeah. purple right. yeah. label mm -hmm. is the, uh, yeah. And the green label is only available in brick and mortar. Yeah. And that's something too. I mean, it's a limited product. I mean, there's only oh, so yeah. many Chevys built every year. There's only so many, you know I mean? There's a, not that these cigars, I compare them to Chevys, but I'm saying that they've, they've, they produce these things. There's only a certain number and there's only a certain amount of, um, uh, acreage that they grow these on. I mean, in on and on the blending, everything that happens, it's, there's only a certain amount so they can pretty much name their price too. So, you know, how do we, how do we balance it? That's, that's how we do it through Cigar International, through Cigars.com, Cigar.com or Cigars? Which one's cigar. that? Cigar. Cigar, right. It's, singular. It's singular. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I um, sometimes slip myself and say. <laughs> yeah. But I've um, gone there and I don't think it's the same kind of product. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure. Here, here's one thing that I think um, I wanted to bring up too. Cigar smell, cigars when they're lit. Mm -hmm. I've had very few people ever say to me, and it's the type of cigar they smoke too, mm -hmm. um, say to me, they don't like the smell of it. They get away from it, whatever. Very, very few. Uh, Christine doesn't have a problem when they're lit, as long as it's in open air or whatever. Yesterday, I cleaned out one of my Boy, ashtrays. You just got a text message. <laughs> Somebody got a text message. What, okay. yeah, probably me. It's probably Christine. I saw what you did. Uh, anyway. Um, so, but I dumped some of the, uh, old ashes from my ashtray into the garbage and I hadn't smoked and I've never smoked. Them mm -hmm. now, right? And she got home and she's like, did you dump ashes? I mean, immediately it wasn't even, yeah. you know, five minutes that she was here. So, mm -hmm. um, I've got a neutralizer that I put in there that takes the stink down or whatever. But yeah. what is, what do you guys do? I mean, it's different cause you guys smoke in the house, but mm -hmm. for me, I mean, that's, I think that's more of a. When I was at like a cigar um, bar and that type of thing, they'd be constantly getting our ashes yeah. out of the way constantly. Mm -hmm. That yeah. staleness is just, how do you guys handle that? Is it, uh, cause you can't, it's one thing I, I can, I can smell it on me right now. You know what yeah. I mean? And it's in, yeah. it's well off outside. Mm -hmm. I can still smell it on me, which I don't mind, whatever. But you know, it's for the uh, significant other. That's uh, yeah. you're, you're at a bonus Donna, because you, you got a great perspective on it. You know, you too, Carl, but you know what I'm saying? You got a great bonus because it's, mm -hmm. you know, you guys enjoy the ho the hobby together, if you want to call it that. I don't like calling yeah. it a habit because it's not really a, it's like you're going out and having a cigarette every 10 minutes or whatever. Right, right. Mm -hmm. I I think that it really helps that your, you know, your second wife likes to smoke cigars herself too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I'm just saying. Uh, no, I, we love Christine. Don't don't do that. Sure. Well, no, I'm with you. Well, she is my second <laughs> wife, so it's all right. She. Oh. Yeah. And I'm not saying yeah. she, so she had a couple three? cigars here and there. She has. We've <laughs> we've enjoyed cigars, but yeah, you know, I, I just, think it uh, is the after smoke for a lot of people. It's yeah. the ash that smells so badly, yeah. and we just dump it out. And I take the trash out quite often around the house anyway. Yeah. Right. Right. Um, okay. it, it's that germ phobia of mine. You know. Well, you, I'm with you on you, that. You, you use the tissue, yeah. you know, on your nose. You yeah. throw it away, get it out of the house. Yeah. And the same way with ash. So I'm constantly going through here and taking that away. So yeah. only the aroma of the cigars are right. Are it is around you. And yeah. I've had people, Brian's been in our house and said, yeah. wow, this house smells great. And I'm like, thank yeah. you. Um, <laughs> Willow asks, uh, how do you prefer to light? your cigars uh we i i prefer wooden matches that's my thing again it's hard here on the lake because i have to be literally i've got to either be in the back of the house where it's like pardon the pond breaking wind off the lake because i can't light it you know i've i've lit with uh, butane lighters like you guys have i've lit it uh, off the stove um, uh, only i didn't smoke it in the house but i lit it off the stove before um yeah one other, one other thing too, we've got cedars <laughs> yeah when I had shorter hair, <laughs> don't do it when you got long hair. Let me tell you, <laughs> that'll wake you up real quick. Um, we've got cedars out front and these cedars, you know, they've got the, they've got the branches and the twigs and everything. And that's actually, I've, I've, I'm drying those out now. I've got a few of them. I'm drying oh, and I'm going to send you a few, but 
awesome. Those things, because you can light them with a match and they're like this long. And that's how, how actually the Cubans, uh, mm -hmm. they'll burn. I don't think they've got, ce they might have cedars down there. I'm not sure. But that's how they do it. They do it in the sliver um, to where it's almost like a, you know, the light a candle, you know, mm -hmm. a candlestick lighter or whatever. Yeah. The same type of idea, but it burns slower. It's a lot easier to control that. And then you don't have that, that wobbly burn that I had on that on, on the cigar that I had, which you guys yeah. can correct a lot easier than I can. Uh, yeah, with a if, uh, oh yeah, you can correct it with a with a butane. Yeah, butane. Uh, you can light point. you can light with a match and then correct with butane. Yeah, uh, you can. That, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. uh, the the problem with the butanes, and especially if you try like one of these thick things, you know, yeah, yeah, is that you're going to inhale some crap in that's the problem and you don't want to do that it's the same with matches too you want to wait give it like a three or four maybe five seconds for that phosphorus to burn off because if you inhale it it's it's yeah it's nasty yeah. Well, see, some, oh, if there okay, if ahead. it's high enough you don't yeah. have to worry about that right yeah. right but you burn yeah. through that fuel like mad mm -hmm. you know she does yes she does <laughs> but Christine. I'm a Sagittarius. I'm a pyromaniac. What can I say? <laughs> Christine bought a. Um, I think I told you guys she bought this. Um, these forever matches, and it's basically it's oh, a yeah. flask that you put lighter fluid in. She didn't mm -hmm. know this on the description. Didn't tell you this, and then you you take this uh, flint. It's basically it's a flint match, and you score it, and oh, it just ignites okay. every time. It's great for lighting fires, but you know it smells of it, oh, it smells yeah. of lighter fluid. Uh, yeah. So I'm like, yeah, I'm not, yeah, I'm not doing that. She said, no, it still looks cool, right? I'm like, yeah, we'll use it outside, no problem. Yeah. But um, you know, a for effort. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. I will, I will do the uh, like you say, you know, warming the foot or you're lighting yeah. without without inhaling. Yeah. And then I will blow out of yes. the cigar. Yeah. A, yeah. A few times to get that right. smell out. When it goes, you don't want that when it taste. burns out, when it burns out, that's what I'll do too. I'll knock yeah. that ash off and then I'll I'll push air out through it and then i'll relight it i usually do that within two hours of the first ignition of the cigar because oh, yeah. after two hours it's kind of eh for me yeah i've smoked yeah. some you know four hours and they're just nasty they're just not not good uh, for me but you get that taste of stale you know, you know it's like eating mm -hmm. an ashtray you know what i mean it's like ugh, gross yeah you don't want to do that no yeah so we're about 55 minutes. I'm going to run over and see if this thing's out. So give me okay. a second. I'll be right okay. back. Sure. We'll, we'll, we'll yak while you're, while you're away. Um, thank you, Willow, for the hat. This is an authentic Doctor Who hat. See, it even says Doctor Who inside. Um, that I bought for a costume shop. It's still a little stiff. I'm hoping that with a few years, it'll be all nice and floppy. We were talking about hats earlier, and I think that hats are better once you've worn them for a couple of years. You get that comfy feeling. You get that floppy feeling in there, and it's it's more of a real hat. <clears throat> and my most beloved hats are the ones I've worn, and uh, they feel comfortable, you know, like an old comfortable shoe. So we, we, we sat uh, 10 minutes, and it went out. So that's good. Okay. What's wrong with that? Mm -hmm. I'm going to relight that in a bit, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually fix that angle angle or uh burn so yeah. we'll make it straightforward but the ash was good the ash was solid up to that point so really good flavor ended up yeah. being a little nutty which is nice yeah. um yeah yeah, yeah so I mean, i'd recommend it i think i'd give it probably four out of five not bad Ooh, okay. what was the what was the economic on that how much was it uh okay they were usually 650 per yeah. if you buy them in a pack of five they were 2250 so what is that that's only four dollars and something uh if you could get a box of 20 they're out right now okay. uh they would only be like 350 a piece mm -hmm. so i mean it's a nice cheap smoke if you buy more than one well right uh right. if you buy one of anything you're going to pay more sure uh because they have to break up a box Right. Yeah. Unless you buy a yeah. sampler that they offer some buy-in, but yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're exactly. Right. So I would say, you know, if I bought one of them and the one I had was the second one, I mm -hmm. would have been upset. My review would not have been so good. But since we got a chance to try out five of them here, um, I think that I'd give it a much better review than I would have before. Okay. So, you know, maybe 3.5, 4, yeah. Okay, right around there. How about you? Donna, what do you think? Um, you probably would yeah, you buy it or would you not buy it? 
I wouldn't buy buy them off of over a Gurkha. Okay, right. But uh, if I was in a if I was in a brick and mortar store and found them, I would probably pick up another one. Yeah, yeah, okay. understandably. So I'm thinking, yeah, they're not bad. Three point um, five. I wouldn't have bought it as my first pick. I wouldn't have gone and looked for it. Um, oh, yeah. Because it's too light for me as far as just the aesthetic of it. But I'll tell you what, it smokes well. For, for not, it's not bad. Cool. And I didn't pay a dime for it, so thank you. <laughs> well, you're welcome. Uh, for me, it was, uh, like I say, I got a pack of five for $22.50, and that's yeah. what I used my $25 off. Ah, for. got so it. I, uh, they were actually free oh. for us, so, you know. Um, yeah, um, I, I'm thinking much better of it than I did before. So, you know, good. that's, that's good. Donna has a ton of ash on there. Yeah, she, she finally, she finally it took up. it off. It, it, was, it got to uh, an okay. inch and a half. Right. It's and it was getting too in. close. It was getting too close to the band. Right. And that's something too, that the bands, you know, this one's not quite ready to come off yet. It, get, it gets a little bit warm. It's easier to pop them off, but yeah. And you got to be careful too, then, because it can unravel. If we're already having unravel, do you have any problems mm -hmm. with that one unraveling or breaking when you're uh, taking the bands off or band? The the top one is is moving back and forth, but it's still not ready to pull off. Okay. But the second one came off extremely easy. Okay, well that's so good. I just took yeah. it off and pushed the second the closer one down yeah, right. for down a little bit. Yeah, and that's I think probably what I'll do too. Um. You know, one yeah. thing that I do too, uh, I said we've got the spray that I spray into the garbage just to take that stink out. Um, but I also use incense. I use a lot of, I burn incense mm -hmm. in the house, which helps. Sandalwood's a really good one. Uh, and, you know, if it smells fresh, you know, so when Christina, <coughs> if I am smoking around the house and it blows in through the windows if I'm on the deck or whatever, you know, that incense, you know, pretty much permeates the, the space. So it's great. What's that? What do you got? Real men like cats. Just saying. It's <laughs> good. Okay. And I did not buy that for him. He bought that for himself. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. I'm, I'm partial to a little uh, <coughs> Calypso Chihuahua, but yeah, I'm yeah, with you. I, know. I understand. She's kind of the size of a cat, so. <laughs> we're, we're, yeah. True. True. We're into cats and hats. Uh, Willow says she has a few hats that she needs to reshape. She tends to rescue them from secondhand stores. No which doubt. Is fantastic. It's a great way to recycle. It. It's great. Mm -hmm. I yeah, take those uh, home, disinfect them, and right. let them sit a while. And I've had to know. change a couple of my hats because my hair, uh, as it's growing, I can't <laughs> fit my caps like I used to. You know, my my uh, old bowler caps. Yeah. So I don't know. I'm about to work on that. I got the opposite thing, Ted. This one didn't fit too well. It was <laughs> how's your tight. How's your cut on the top of your it was head? A little too? tight. Oh, it's all healed up. It's That's fine. okay. Yeah. Oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> you need to wax that, dude. That's uh. I don't know. <laughs> I wonder what kind of wax they use for that. I don't know. Just the usual hair wax, I'm sure. Bikini wax. Think. Yeah, right. No. What would you think wax. Of, <laughs> what I want to leave that alone. It's all the same thing, honey. It's all the same thing. What would you think about uh, the smokeless uh, ice trays? Thought about that. I, there's one that I was really looking at. Uh, it's actually a HEPA filter that uh, it mm. actually cleans down. It's got six different uh, trays in it of filter. Mm. And it's supposed to recycle 99.8% of all particulates. And it's actually, uh, during COVID, they recommended it just in general as mm -hmm. a circulatory mm. system for your home. Mm. Um, the, but you got to have a, you have, a, have, a, have a line to it for power, first off. Mm -hmm. It's under remote. Um, it also has a screensaver on it, which is kind of neat. So you can change it to different uh, artwork or whatever. That's kind of oh, cool. Wow. That's wow. kind of neat. Um, but so this is a freestanding unit. Yeah, so. it sits actually oh, like wow. it would like a radiator on the wall. You know, like it, in, okay. in Europe, they have these radiators that are like mm -hmm. a towel warmer. If you've ever seen those, yeah, I, I design a lot of those in houses. And but it's it's kind of like that. Uh, it, I would say probably, but it's a twelve by eighteen unit, probably about four inches off the wall. Um, and it's and it's uh, an ashtray. It, no, it's a breather. So what it does oh, is you okay. can still ash oh, on, into okay. an ashtray, but what's nice about it is it recirculates the air like 10 times in an hour when it's on okay. and it's silent. Okay. It's deadly silent. So you don't, you could have, you could be broadcasting or doing whatever, you know, I would rather have one of those than a humidor than a large humidor. I would rather have oh, that okay. for me. If I would spend $500 on that, that would make more sense to me than 
Um, but trying to explain that to Christine, um, she would rather have the five hundred dollars for herself. So I think we're probably going to do that. <laughs> yeah. Probably going to do that. So yeah. And Ted just doesn't smoke in the house. That's basically how it works. Yeah, right? yeah, that's that's understandable. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. Enough, right? Well, maybe if you tell them that it would be better better for Calypso. Ah, good marketing. Oh, yeah, marketing. Yeah. Well, the other thing is too, it's a write off now because we have a cigar show. So I'm like, yeah, oh, there you go. They balance that out. So we'll figure it out. Whatever. Is but I know? think that there's um. But I, I saw the uh, the small what I call R two D two units. The small humidors that go underneath the counter. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, man, that would be nice, but I just really don't want to drop five hundred dollars on to fill it. You know, I yeah. just, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, if I do it wrong or something happens and all that is ruined, I mean, I would feel just beside myself. So I'd rather just have the smaller humidor, you know, mm -hmm. ten, twelve, fit maybe twenty cigars. I'm good. Oh yeah. Um, we put in, you know, um, distilled water in the or a bovida pack, and we're good. Mm -hmm. You know. For those um, those guys that have the big ones, okay, they are. Excuse me, what? That the wrong station. Guys that have the big the big humidors, okay. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Um, they are very committed, okay. Mm. It's almost like being. Um, or it's should almost be like committed? Being, well, it's almost like being a cigar store uh, a proprietor because yeah. they are in there daily moving cigars around. Yeah. You know, these were in the front. Now they have to go to the back. Now right. they were on the top shelf. They have to go to the bottom right. shelf. Right. Um, and they're moving and mixing their, you know, all yeah. their stuff. And I'm like, boy, that's a lot of work. I don't know if I want to do all yeah, that. Yeah, right. I mean, this is part to enjoy, right? Like mm -hmm. we were talking about. Now it's, you know, it's becoming a necessity. Yeah. We have to like, it's an extra thing. And that's the other thing too. The humidor, uh, that the R2D unit, what I call it. Mm-hmm. You have to plug it in, so it costs yeah. energy. They're still energy efficient, but it's like, come on, it's all these things, and you're buying yeah. extra stuff and you know, extra humidifier stuff. And it's, I don't know. I don't I'm, know. I, I'm I'd just rather spend the mind. money on the cigars and just let them naturally. What did they do before this? You know, how did they do this in the old way? How was how was it? You know, a bovita pack's not that uh, expensive. You could buy right. a whole pack of those things, and they'll last you know a long time. Just throw them in a uh, cedar box, you know. A tight, tight lid seal box. I think maybe I'm just going to put cedar all over the inside of one of our closets. Yeah. And yeah. put a humidifier in there. Just be done with it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. That's, that's, that's an idea. So. Yeah. We have enough closets. We could spare one. There you go. There you go. So. Well, that was a good, uh, this was a good show, man. I'm glad that yeah. we uh, did this. We'll have to do this again yeah. next month. We'll figure out, I'll have a better game plan. It'll be a little bit warmer. And, you know, there's a lot of things when you're, when you're smoking outside, I've got a lot, you know, we've got neighbors during the summer. So people yeah. are cutting grass and weather, you know, so I'm going to have to mm -hmm. kind of see how it goes, but we'll see what, uh, how, how yeah. we manage it. It'll be, we'll, well be creative. We'll be creative. Christine has her greenhouse. Yes. You need your man. Cane I know. Now. I know. We talk mm -hmm. about it. Yeah. We'll talk about it in due time. I've got books to write. I got things to do. I don't need to be smoking cigars all the time, but once a month or twice a month is okay. So I'll work on it. And it's always a pleasure with you guys. You guys are a blast. So thank you. Thank Ted. you. Um, and yeah, check out the books that they've got. Uh, you know, like we were talking about, who watches, and then also mm -hmm. Woodstock. Sorry, Woodstock. Woodstock range, range. Yeah. Um, mature audiences only on this one. And that's on uh, Lulu. <laughs> that's Lu Lulu. Is it dot com? Mm -hmm. Lulu dot com and at Barnesandnoble dot com. Uh, correct. Correct. And then uh, you can and see all the books that they offer. Uh, both uh, Carl and Donna are awesome authors and check out everything they're doing because they've got just, they're just awesome Thank as you. a side note. So uh, General uh, Kratos, uh, these are all uh, just tobacco, bro. Mm -hmm. Just tobacco. That's the only thing we, uh, we manage here <laughs> on the station. So, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so, you know, anything in closing guys or anything else uh, we need to go over this? I think this you know, has been a great show. Thanks. Yeah. You helped yeah, with my you. review here. So. Yeah, big time. Well, hopefully they'll, you know, send you some more. So this is good. So I'm in the broadcast now. Um, and you guys check out everything that we're doing on Ted Davies Artistry and, you know, Ted and Carl's Cigar Show. Of course, our, our, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, Donna? Special guest, our specialist guest. Yeah. Donna. Yeah. She's awesome. However so. you want to put it. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. You guys have a great, uh, our audience have a great, work week and just do something good for somebody smoke what you got uh if you're old enough and uh we will talk to you soon thank you so much guys for stopping in
Thanks for having